Hi guys, this is Wendy Michelle Thompson and we are getting ready to do some arm toning and I thought I would get started with just what the regular routine is. I have been doing Get Off Your Acid. Maybe you've heard about it from Kelly Ripa and other celebrities that are on it, but I started out with doing a celery detox and doing a greens super drink with all kinds of power vegetables and minerals and vitamins in it and I so love the results. I thought I would try something from Walmart first before I invested in something like this. But this here is the minerals and this helps with alkalizing your body. You want to make sure that you are getting as much acidity out of your body as possible so that you have a proper pH and it makes such a difference in your focus when you get to finally sleep. <laughs> uh, workout recovery you can have it before, after workouts. It reduces cravings, like sugar cravings, and it can even help alleviate stress. So, I just start with a scoop of it. And this is actually lemon flavored, so it's pretty tasty. I can't say I'm real fond of the greens. I'm going to do a little bit more. The scoop is not that big. And then you can add 8 to 16 ounces of cold water. But I typically put the water in, stir it up a little bit, then add some ice in, and then I get started. So I'll be back with you soon. Okay. So I've got my mineral water all mixed up. It helps replace the electrolytes that you lose when you're sweating and working out. And it is really refreshing. I like it a lot. The protein you can get in chocolate or vanilla. I'm not a vanilla person. Not a real big chocolate person, but the chocolate one's pretty good. The greens, mmm not that great i usually have to add something to it like a little bit of cranberry juice they do have a berry flavor which i thought would be better tasting actually i couldn't taste the berry in it but oh well and then they have like a citrus one but they were all out of stock so the first thing we need to do before starting weights is at least do five to eight minutes of some kind of cardio and that can be up to you whether it be walking or doing some kind of exercise like butt kicking you know just something to get your heart rate up a little bit get your body limbered up so we will be heading to the basement stairs and You'll get to see what I am seeing, at least for a little bit anyways. Where I put my drink. I will go through a lot of water. Oh, well, this is going to work here. There we go. So, I am going to set it for five minutes. There are 13 steps. So, going down 13, going up is one set. And so, we'll just do stairs for five minutes to get our good warm-up in. Put it on 
clock and timer. And I really like doing stairs. I injured my knee um, probably about eight years ago and I used to like to run so now I can't run as much but I still love doing stairs and some days I see how many I can do in 15 minutes. That is a sweat pour. And this wood, wood rail over here, I have got plenty of splinter. So not only are they great for weights, these fingerless gloves and yoga, but for holding rails that have splinters. So I am going to show you the stairs. Okay. So we had a little technical difficulty there. I had to start over again, but we have it set for five minutes. We'll get it started and I will see how this thing works with carrying you with me as I go down the stairs, up and down the stairs. We'll see. If not, I might have to hand you over to my cutie pie Zoe. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, we push start for me, hun. Yeah. All right. And we will get started. Now, I typically just do like a little flip around and then go right back up. I don't do it slow, but I don't do it fast either. The first couple stairs have carpet and the others are wooden. And so, whoa, I have slipped a few times. Thankfully, I have not like rolled down the stairs or anything. And I've got my Fitbit on. It's on my wrist. My Fitbit is very finicky. I don't know if you guys have had this issue before or not, but I had a Fitbit Charge 2 that I had for about five years or so. Loved it, loved it, loved it. But, um, it died. It was a super sad day for me because <laughs> it just really felt like it was a part of my body, you know, when you always wear it. But I got a Fitbit Blaze and thinking, oh, okay, this is a better edition. Should do all kinds of cool things. No, it works when it wants to. <laughs> so. A lot of times, as soon as I get to the top of the stairs, I will flick my wrist and see if it's actually the same count that I've done. There have been times when I have done a lot of marathon stairs so far, supposedly, and I'm walking in place here, keeping my heart rate up since I've done four floors. Is that about right, Zoe? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. I think this is your third one now. No, no, it never gives me extra stairs, that's for sure. As you can see, we are Duke Blue, Be Blue Devil fans, so no one hold that against us, okay? But, yep, here we are at 2.16 left. And look at that, my Fitbit. It says my heart rate's 113 right now. We're at 151 left.
the condo that Zoe and I used to live in, we lived on the third floor, which I actually loved. It had 19 stairs. And I really like that because I like getting stairs in, but from being connected to people's walls, you can't really use them as a workout tool like you can if you're in a basement or something like that. And stairs aren't the greatest when you've got tons of groceries. But otherwise, or yeah, when you're moving in and moving out, that's not fun. I'm looking at my timer and it's right at five minutes since I started recording. And we've got 36 seconds left. You see, we have quite the workshop here. And we're looking. It says heart rate 120. I don't know what it is. And the timer's done now. And the timer's done, Zoe says. Okie dokie. So, we will carry everything into the next room and get set up in there for our weight workout. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm not used to filming in here. So, sorry it's not the most professional. But... We did the best we could trying to do it in the room where I usually film. There is just too much equipment standing all around for me to be able to do anything. And I always work out in here anyways. So we will do 10 minutes of various weights for our arms. And it is up to you if you are just getting started you'll want to start with much lower weights. I have five pounds for each hand. Some people prefer to just work with one dumbbell that is 10 pounds. It's a little easier. It depends on whether you like separating your exercises or not as far as for example, your tricep kicks, some people prefer doing it at the same time. I like doing it one at a time. It is all up to you. But just do what you are comfortable doing. If it hurts, stop, take a break. Always rehydrate and see if you could just take a little breather and then get right back into it. And there's always the next time. Try to do it every other day. Say three to four times a week, okay? And if you can't get through the whole workout at first, that's okay too. You will get there. So I'm already got my iPad set for 10 minutes. I'll get it started. My screen went black again. It doesn't stay on for very long. And we'll just start with some bicep curls. You want to have a very controlled motion. Always engage your abs, pulling them in like you're sucking them to the back of your spine. Try to have very good posture 
As you can see, my legs are probably about a foot and a half apart and knees are slightly bent. But up, down. Now, when I typically do these weights, I will do a higher number of reps. A lot of people will do like 12, 10, 8. It all depends on you and what you're comfortable with. I am just bringing them from my shoulders and then straight up beside my ears, straight up in the air. Controlling your breathing. And I'm not doing any counting at all this time around since I'm talking to you also. Next, I will typically do the tricep kicks. And like I said, a lot of people like to do them at the same time. I typically separate it. And when you can always modify everything. So you would lean forward. And if you're doing them at the same time, just bring straight back. But with me doing them individually, I get into a lunge position, put the one that you're not throwing back on your knee, start up here in a curl, go back, and then straight back up to your chest level. I can't begin to tell you how much I hated doing this when I first got started. But I have been doing it for, oh wow, let me think. Since Zoe was three, and she'll be 11 in January. And so, <laughs> has made such a difference. Now I'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Try to push it back as far as you can. It is normal to hear your shoulder pop. <laughs> Not a bad pop, it's just that pop, pop. I should have kept Zoe in here to be my counter. Okay, just try to keep moving. Now, if you just have one barbell, this comes in handy with this particular exercise with these extension dips. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. Todd told me a little while ago, but they're hexagon shaped, so they're real easy to fit together. Put it straight up behind your head and just dip backwards. And I'll get back a little bit and maybe you can see a little better.
Okay? Now, a lot of people, if you have a weight bench, that would be perfect. I do not. I don't want to be on the couch. It's too soft and squishy. <laughs> so I will get back into that lunge position. Put the one weight on the top of my thigh. The other one down below. Bring straight up. Now, with lesbian women, you will feel this right around the breast area. Then you switch. I have yoga mats on the floor. I don't know how far we'll get with just 10 minutes. I do have some different arm exercises that you can do on the floor as well. Or things that you would typically do on a bench. Since we don't have one of those. Okay. Then after that, hold your barbells right here. At shoulder level, sort of above your chest. Some people you will see them pushing out and back in. I like to do alternating punches. One, two. Never let them drop. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They do start feel he uh, feeling heavy after a while. Sit them down, get a drink, whether it's your Gatorade, water, something like this. <laughs> and we're already down to 42 seconds. We'll hang on one moment and we'll see if we'll get one really good one in. Now I don't know how well you're going to be able to see me. I had to position the mat and also bring the camera down. But I also reset the clock to give us a little bit more time. Something I absolutely love doing are planks. And there are so many different ones that you can do. You can do your traditional plank. If you need to modify, you can do it on your forearms. You can pull your legs in. And of course, do them on your side with your forearm bent or extended. And you can try fancy things. 
<laughs> but that typically, guys, is my weight routine. And I just do two or three sets of each thing you saw. Now, as you can see, I have an exercise ball. That is brand new to me. The only experience I have really with a ball is with my last child that you just met. I labored on a ball and it was terrific. I highly recommend it. It was the first time I had ever gone with a midwife and man, I, I want to get off that ball, <laughs> but I have been wanting to try an exercise ball with my workouts just to see how much difference it adds. There's lots of different things that you can do with it. There are just some real simple things. This is huge. There's also the little tiny ones, but you can just do pulses, which you're pressing into the ball as hard as you can on both sides. The harder you push in, the more the intensity. And really, you know, you just go, just like you're holding the weight. You do these things. You can do little ups and down. I saw a few exercises where you're sitting on the floor and using weights. Of course, too, I also use elastic bands. This one here actually has the handles on it, which is really nice. So you can turn it into a jump rope if you want to but you can incorporate you know just going straight up I've got my butt holding it down pulling it up as high as you can you get on the floor you do great leg exercises but that gives you guys a basic idea. Like I said, I would just be doing another two sets and be doing more reps. And it's just, you build. It's like baby steps. You don't start out walking. You learn how to hold your head up first and then you're rolling. And then before you know it, you're sitting up and then you're trying to get into a standing position and walking around the furniture and before you know it, you're running. It's, it's the same way. It feels uncomfortable at first. It is normal to feel a little bit sore. If you overdo it, you can possibly risk getting injured. So I know we get very, very excited about exercise especially at this time of the year where people are making resolutions i don't do the whole resolution thing i do like making vision boards and having that in front of me and resetting my goals throughout the year and typically i meet them or exceed them but you know if you have that in front of you all the time and say for me it was important to get that menopause weight off so i mean i had my exercise equipment all around me there was that fitbit attached to me and <laughs> i really I've always been hyperactive. I, it's hard for me to even sit down and watch a TV show unless I get really engaged in it. But 
I mean, I would be exercising the whole time American Idol was on back when I was in nursing school. I was studying or working or taking care of the kids all the time. And I wanted to exercise and I needed it to de-stress. But really, I like felt bad for taking a break from studying. And the only way I could justify it was getting on the treadmill at the time. I think my contact was falling out of my eye. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is it for my toning. And if there is more you want to see, uh, please let me know in the comments. Tell me what areas you're wanting to work on the most. You know, it doesn't have to be just arms. If you're wanting to get rid of bra overhang, mushroom top, thighs that rub, shape that booty, get those legs nice and shapely. I know all kinds of exercises to do. And tomorrow we will have a recording of more planks abdominal crunches and we will be working on the obliques as well leg lifts stretching stretching is so important and we'll also be talking about what kind of cardio you should be incorporating you have to have cardio it benefits you in so many ways. This is running a little long. We'll go ahead and say good night for now. And sorry, this is later in the day, but I'm a night owl. So I really should have told you guys, hey, you'll be seeing the workout video later at night. You guys have a great day. God bless your todays and all your tomorrows. And hey, if anybody wants to do a plank challenge, 30 days, tell you what, any of this, give it 30 days. You will be amazed and we'll talk, read in the description what I wrote in the intro about toning your arms. I know for sure I put it there, but about writing down the exercising that you do, your measurements, weight, and all that and I want you to focus on those numbers but you do need to get a baseline so that you know even if the scales aren't going down that you are making some kind of progress I love you guys and have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow